Ready to escape into a world of books and pixels? What is up, YouTube? Today we will be reading a story from Walt Disney Storyland. The story we'll be reading is Donald Duck's Toy Train. However, before we read, there is something I have to tell you about this book. As you can see, this book is vastly different from my Railway Series book. And because this is a different era of Disney, some of the stories may be a bit... And a bit too controversial or offensive in today's day in today's world. So I will not be reading all of the stories from this book. I instead will be reading all of the stories that feature Mickey and Friends, storybook adaptations of Disney movies, as well as any other story that looks safe and isn't considered offensive. So without a further ado, let's Read Donald Duck's Toy Train. Donald Duck had a new toy train in his backyard, and it was a beauty, too. It had a shiny black engine with a coal car behind where Donald rode, because he was too big for the toy engine's cab. Donald's train had a coach, a mail car, and a red caboose, though none of his friends could go inside because it was a toy-sized train. There was a little station next to the track. Canyonville, the station sign said. And around the station, a little village spread with houses houses, churches, and stores. Only nobody lived there, because it was too small, and that didn't seem too bad. One day, Donald was laying some new train track when he came spang up against a great big tree. This'll have to go, said Donald Duck. It's much too big for my toy train. So he had the big tree moved away. Now up in that treetop was the cozy home of two chipmunks, Chip and Dale. They were away at the time, gathering nuts for their winter food. Soon they came back with great armloads of nuts and got ready to climb to their home. But what's this? The tree was gone. They could scarcely believe their eyes. In its place, Donald Duck had put a toy-sized tree, just the right size for his little toy train. But it's not a big enough home for... But it's not a big enough... But it's not big enough for a home for us, said... cried Chip. No, sir, cried Dale. Well, this was a fix. Where could they live? The two sad chipmunks sat and thought, but that didn't get them anywhere. So they started slowly walking down the railroad tracks. Soon they came to the train, where Donald had left it. Looks like fun, said Chip. Let's go for a ride, said Dale. So they hopped into the engine cab, which was just their size. They stoked up the little fire with a shovel full of coal, and away they chugged down the track. They roared through tunnels, uphill and down Dale. It was a really wonderful ride. Soon they came to the town. They rang the engine bell, put on the brakes, and stopped. Quite a town, said Chip. Let's look around, said Dale. So they rattled the doors at the little stores, but no one was there to sell. They knocked at the doors of the little houses, but no one answered. One little door, though, swung open at their touch. So Chip and Dale walked inside. Inside the house, they found chairs and lamps and tables and beds, all exactly chipmunk size. So Chip and Dale moved right in, but not far away, a danger marched. It was Donald Duck, and Donald Duck was mad. Someone has stolen my train, he fumed. Best toy train in the world, he fussed, and it's probably wrecked by now. It isn't everyone who can manage a real little train like that. Just then he looked up and saw the train, parked at the station as neat could be. Near the train, he found tiny footprints leading straight to the little house. Donald went to the window and peeked in. Chip and Dale were curled up in bed, taking naps. Well, isn't that cute, said Donald. What's more, they're just the right size. So Donald made friends of Chip and Dale. He delivered tiny bottles of milk to their door and teeny loaves of bread. He then let them drive his fine toy train while he rode on a coach behind. It's m much more fun, said Donald happily, to play with folks who are the right size. The end. Alright, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.